Then let's go. Let's let's go to what it really is. Then when we talk about the power of melanated people, when we talk mm -hmm. about who we really are as guys and in, in understanding right. that our melanin is so power and it connects us in a way that the reason why they fear black, the reason why they fear is because they the lack that they have of it. So then when you see what, you know, Dr. Uh, Francis C. Wellesley talked about is that fear in that 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 uh, just genetic that annihilation efficiency mm -hmm. when you have a person that has ha has the lack of pigment the right. lack of melanin right that they know that they will be annihilated so therefore however they got the power they 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 have the lack of compassion mm -hmm. that mel melanin comes with compassion L melanin comes with soul that mm -hmm. we call it we call it soul we soul brothers and sisters that's the melanin that connects us. Right. so the people that don't have it have are are a little and I'm, I'm gonna say this carefully <laughs> are a little less and 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 where the term actually comes from because i'm bringing it all the way back around okay. to, to minister farrakhan to where they may not have the compassion or the the when they were sent to the mountains of caucasus when they when they didn't have the power of the sun that was that the sun then started to deteriorate mm -hmm. them so then they're acting out of fear they're acting out of low self-esteem they're acting out of a, a deficiency mm -hmm. so therefore the only way that they can act is evil the only way they can they, they have to rob steal rape kill and fight or flight okay. in, or, in order to survive exactly so then these people who didn't have what we had and when i say we i speak of the mm -hmm. melanated people right they had to be savages they had to be barbaric. They had because they're in these Nordic mountains. They're in these rough, uh, torrential environments. Mm. So they they're acting as animals. Right. So they're the ones that are actually closer to animals. They're the ones that are actually the true savages. And then they built up such this this I don't want to say warrior, but they built up such this 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 conquering mm -hmm. uh barbaric mentality hey yo it's your boy contrary to the ki double d it's the kid baby i just want to expand on the cannon real quick because man oh man didn't the cannon just mess up did he just mess up really badly or did he just get some hard truths let me break this down for you real quick now i definitely 100 percent don't agree with he's him saying that there's no way for white people to act outside of being evil that was 100 percent wrong not gonna cap to you there's right and there's wrong in every race of people so that was really my problem but everything else, speaking about the melanin, I got some videos coming up for you right next, next to, and right after I'm done speaking, scientifically proven what he's saying about the melanin. Now, about them being in, a, uh, about white people being in Caucasus Mountains and things like that, let me first preface myself by saying I love anybody on the righteous side of things. You know what I'm saying? I, I, have, I have very lovely white supporters, black supporters. Sure, I got some Mexicans and Asians and all that. It's not about white or black. It's about right and wrong. Okay? You know what I'm saying? So, let's start it out the window right now. You feel me? Because sometimes science hurt people's feelings. Scientifically speaking, we, we don't speak about science next, but let, let, me, let me just break down why he said that white people for, uh, coming out of the Caucasus Mountains were uh, turned into Neanderthal-like, barbaric-like, uh, what he likes to call savages, okay? You gotta understand, when you come to caveman, what was a caveman doing? A caveman was in the cave because it was cold. A caveman, every time he left his cave, it was to go get food. It was to go hunt. Why do you think that uh, uh, Caucasian people hunt more? It, what y'all what not realizing is, genetically, we have memories. It's in our genetics and in our DNA. It's certain things that pass down that they say is in your genes. Hunting is in your genes, boy. Yes, it's literally in your genes. Why? Because every time, uh, the, you know what I'm saying, the uh, beginning of your ancestors all the way down were hunters. They leave and they go kill so that they can go eat. It was 100% necessary for every, and, and they were blocked off from the sun in the caves and it's cold. You know what I'm saying? So when they leave, it's harsh weathers. It's horrible. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Africa where it's hot outside and there's fruit and nuts and mangoes and all this stuff everywhere. They had to go leave. They had to go kill. Every time they left, they was killing. I hope y'all don't hear that thunder outside. It's whatever. Every time they left, they had to kill. So it turned them into uh, psychologically more uh, barbaric people, okay? Now, I'm not saying that applies to everyone today. What I'm saying is it had a psychological effect in the genes, which makes what, what he says less compassionate. I couldn't kill certain animals. It's a lot of, it's a lot of um, Caucasian people who, as children, they grow up knowing how to hunt. You know what I'm saying? They grow up shooting ducks and deers and all that. And then, you know, uh, mel more melanated people might think that's a little weird. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that melanated people weren't hunting. Because Native Americans were hunting. But not to not to the extent and not with the same psychological demeanor because the Native Americans used every part of the uh, deer or every part of the buffalo and then what they even the bones they uh, turned into tools and different things like that and they uh, praised who they thought whoever whoever they believe God is uh, and thanked him for the sacrifice and you know what I'm saying had a very loving demeanor about it when you got a caveman he not doing none of that ooh ooh ah ah kill I'm hungry I gotta go eat I gotta go feed my family so I gotta go kill something so that's where the savage barbaric thing comes in now when he goes on to say that the Caucasians were animalistic that's not just to say that they were animalistic because of what they were doing it is. Uh, directly speaking on them genetically 
um, and them 100% scientifically. And I can't articulate it the way that this man can. So I'm going to let him talk about this in this video, basically uh, explaining uh, the existence of extraterrestrials. And I want y'all, because this video is shadow banned. YouTube doesn't want you to see it. It was so hard for me to go find it. But the only reason I was able to find it is because I seen it in the past and it was in my life, in my life videos, okay? So go in the description of this video. I want you to click these, uh, this video, basically exposing the existence of extraterrestrials, okay? And if you watch the whole video, it's undeniable proof that, you know, extraterrestrials, okay? But in it, he had to, uh, at the beginning, he had to break down genetics and uh, blood types for you to understand that it would be impossible for, you know, certain things to happen without gene splicing and without uh, animal DNA. They say that humans share uh, DNA with uh, uh, the orangutan or the monkey or whatever they're saying. There's some truth to that, but it's not all the way true. So I'm going to let this man break it down for y'all right now. I love y'all. I want to repeat myself. I am 100% not racist. I don't even know why I have to say that. When you permit, when you when you have scientific evidence saying one thing that people were, you know what I'm saying, that might sound crazy, that people um just can't get or hear because their whole life they've been hearing the opposite, it might come as a shock to you. But I say this to say I love all of you. I love, I love my uh, homosexual people. I love my people of all races. I even love racists because it's not about you being racist. If you're violent, then that's different. But it ain't about you being racist. It's about, it's about your psychological disposition and your consciousness. And if y'all not there yet, that's okay. You can have an adolescent, um, an adolescent level of consciousness. So I forgive you all. You feel me? So if you feel like I'm being racist because I'm showing you science, then I don't think this video is for you. And uh, just enjoy my other videos where I'm showing love to everybody because love is knowledge. You need to know. You feel me? And if we don't get past this specific information, we always going to have this, uh, you know what I'm saying, problem in between the races because we believe in two different things. I do believe that what Nick Cannon said was very non-beneficial to the race wars uh, brewing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like he's creating a larger divide, but I also understand that everything is divine. I wish that all my right brothers and sisters stand with us and that we stand with them and that we uh, we can decipher the good from the evil no matter what race or what uniform you wear. Okay? Um, That's pretty much it. I love y'all, man. Like and share this video. I'm about to have um, this man, Young Pharaoh, you need to go to his uh, channel. And go check him out because this man got science and evidence and he's exposed everything, okay? So check it out right now. Huh. Africans are part Neanderthal. Genetics confirmed. This ain't no motherfucking theory, no speculate. This is confirmed by genetics. If your heritage is not African, you are part Neanderthal according to a new genetic study. This is posted, uh, what you call it? J uh, post date was July 18, 2011, in the July issue of Molecular Biology and Evolution. So this is not up for debate. So we're talking about extraterrestrial genes. We are the extraterrestrials. We have the genetic composition created from the cosmos. Everybody else is hybrid and is taking the bloodline of African people. Now let me keep this question. Genetic origins of not African descent, okay? What is a hybrid? In biology, a hybrid is the offspring of two plants or animals of different species or varieties, such as a mule, right? A hybrid of a donkey or a horse. Now I want y'all to keep mule, I want y'all to keep a, a mule in your mind because I'm gonna use the example in a minute, right? Definition number two, a thing made combining two different elements in the mixture, right? Now why is this important? Because they will tell you that this nigga comes from us. That's what they say, they say, oh, we all the blah, 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 and white people is, what they tell you is black people went up into the cold, okay? And then somewhere it got so goddamn cold that a nigga lost his melanin and turned white. But what they don't tell you is, if, even if you go into the cold, right, let's just, let's just hypothetically say, you turn white when you go into the cold. Even if you give them that bullshit stupid ass point. What they got to do with a calcified pineal gland? What do they got to do with the A and B blood type, which is really antigens? The antigen is a toxin or foreign substance introduced to the body that evokes a response in the immune system. How do we get antigens in the blood? How do we get calcified pineal glands? How did our hair no longer become flocculous and become animal-based follicles, which is where we can get lice? So that being said, how did our entire biology change? Because we went somewhere where it was goddamn cold. How did we become Neanderthals by being in the cold where they know Neanderthals? Neanderthals is monkeys and primates. I don't know about goddamn monkeys that live in goddamn Alaska. I don't know it. It might be. I've never heard of one. So that being said, I don't know any monkeys that live up there in the goddamn on Mount Everest. So how the fuck did we go into Mount Everest and pick up me? That's like saying you went to Alaska and picked up uh, anaconda gene. Ain't no goddamn, ain't no goddamn reptiles in the wintertime on this planet. So that being said, the evolution theory is highly incomplete. Now, when they say, you're first, I'm going to read the article, right? National Geographic proves teaching on Mr. Yaku. Okay? Now watch this. The prestigious National Geographic Society has reported that scientists studying DNA have now confirmed that Europeans, as a people, are younger than we thought. Using the unbiased measure of genetic science, they point to the same birth date for the European as did the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Professor Alan Cooper, director of the Australian Center for Ancient DNA and Research at the University of Adelaide, analyzing DNA from ancient skeletons and found that the genetic makeup of modern Europe was established just 6,500 years ago at most. So Europeans are only 6,000 years old, period. Now, when they say Europeans come from melanated people, this is who they're talking about. But he is not us. See, he's not of African descent. The African is, is the bloodline is royal because it's not Neanderthal. Now, this is a Dravidian. So this is one of them niggas that you see over there in India acting like he us, but he really not us. So when they say white people come from melanated people or black people, they're not talking about us. They ain't got, they ain't got, listen, Chinese people, Korean people, white people, all not African people ain't got shit to do with our genetic lineage. We are in a whole nother bracket, genetic, uh, genetically and biologically. So let me tell y'all how the European was created, okay? Or all non-Africans was created. Specifically, we're going to start with little Cody right here. Cody comes from him. This is a Dravidian. This is an albino Dravidian. So this, him is him, okay? In an albino state. And through this is Neanderthal, okay? And then through uh, genetic engineering processes, another process that I explain step by step in my genetic engineering lecture, so I'm not gonna do it over now. You get him. So long story short, assuming that you watch my genetic reincarnation lecture, you know what I'm talking about. So assuming that you watch it, Cody comes from him. Cody ain't got shit to do with us. Cody ain't got nothing to do with us, okay? So get that in y'all here. We didn't evolve from these motherfuckers. We didn't do nothing. If the evolution, the evolution theory is not true, but even if it was true, it ain't got nothing to do with black people, it ain't got nothing to do with us. So what y'all gotta understand is this is Cody's ancestry, okay? And this is why they say only if you're not an African descendant, you're not a human being, because everybody comes from Neanderthal genetic installments. They're not pure blood, pure bread. 
a genetic organism like us. This is why we're being extraterrestrials. We have the world bloodline because our genes are for one, not even from this planet, but two, our DNA comes straight from the cosmos. It's organic. We don't have any Neanderthal traces and shit like that in us. Now, with that being said, genetic origins of African of non African descendants part three. Now, we're going to talk about Spanish people and Chinese people come from. The blood oldest, O is the oldest blood type. Oh, you have four blood types. Oh, I mean, eight blood types. O, A, B, A, B. I mean, and then uh, you can switch them into, into eight different combinations. Now, with that being said, you got these blood types from your parents' genes. Genes have a way of representing a bit of genetic history. Type O blood type is said to be the oldest blood and shows a connection to the hunter gatherer creatures. Now, there were no hunter gatherer creatures because we were advanced back then and we existed with an advanced form. Now, with that being said, when you uh, delve into the ancient code article, right? This article publishes what? Humans with blood type RH negative belong to an extraterrestrial lineage, according to a new theory. Now, scientists believe they have found out a fascinating thing in regards to RH positive and RH negative, according to this scientific theory. It is in the distant past, extraterrestrial beings visited the Earth and created through genetic manipulation the RH negative, right? With the intention of creating a race of slaves. Ignore the slaves part, don't believe that at all. And they want to they put anything that ain't got to do with them. Uh, motherfucking negative. So black people, we, we were slaves 500 years ago, and then aliens just made us slaves too. So when the fuck we ain't never not been goddamn slaves? Goddamn. What the fuck? But keep it a kicker. But aliens, really? According to investigators, this will explain why Irish negative mothers do not tolerate fetuses with Irish positive blood. How many times have fought? How many times have I, I been saying that shit since a year and a half ago? But keep it kicking. Thus, this radical hard to explain by most natural laws, intolerance could derive from an ancient genetic modification why Irish positive and Irish negative groups tend to repel each other instead of merging. Okay? This theory goes back to ancient Sumerian times when a highly advanced alien race came from elsewhere in the cosmos, the Anunnaki, building and creating the first human societies. It is believed that these ancient beings planned and genetically altered primitive human species, creating stronger and more adequate beings that were used as slaves in the distant past. False. It is a scientific fact, which I'm getting ready to prove in a minute. I did it before I'm doing it again in this presentation. That all non Africans are only 6,000 years, years old. So, with that being said, there was no such thing as white people 6,000 years old. We can prove that, that black women have been here for a damn near longer than the planet here. So, if extraterrestrials came down interacting with anybody, by default, it would be African people because we were the only fucking people here. Period. Especially 200,000 years ago. Now, with that being said, the Irish negative will be the legacy that the Anunnaki left on Earth, among other things. Interestingly, the Irish, the negative Irish strain is characteristic, for example, of the British royal family, which has generated controversial theories about a possible extraterrestrial lineage. Although this hypothesis has not been confirmed, the, the disturbing question it generates floats in the air how civilized world will, will react to the fact that a small portion of the Earth's population has a genetic code that has been altered in a distant past by highly advanced extraterrestrial beings. This is science. This is science. This is science. This information is vital, and people need to know. And so I did a video on my channel called Blood Types. That video's still up. Now go watch the video Blood Types. If you watch the video Blood Types, you should be up to date for this. And now with that being said, here's the science of Reese's Monkey Blood, aka being Irish positive. So with that being said, we have to understand this, right? We're not being racist. We're not dealing with racism. We're dealing with science. We're dealing with genetics, biology, etc. So it is a scientific fact that if you are not of African descent, you are only 93% human being, 7% Neanderthal. That goes for Asians and Caucasians, okay? And their forefathers being Dravidians. And so with that being said, you have African descent. You can call it human, we don't say African, we say human. So whether you call yourself Aboriginal, you was in America, you was in South America, you was in Africa, wherever you think you was at, you are a human. If you are not somebody of that mitochondrial e gene descent, you are not a human. You are a Neanderthal. Neanderthal being primitive, being monkey. And you were created from genetic engineering, aka gene splicing, and I'm going to break down the science now. And so that being said, once again, this is genetic facts. This is not about racism, this is not about none of the ego trip shit y'all want to be on. This is called the truth that was never told to you. And so with that being said, when we're talking about being Irish positive, first of all, we have to understand, what is Irish positive? Irish means rhesus monkey blood. There's an actual monkey called rhesus monkey, a real freaking monkey. And when you go into science, you'll see that Caucasians share 98% of their DNA with monkeys. So we have to ask ourselves, where did the compatibility become genetically for a monkey to sexually reproduce with a human? There never was one. And so before I get all the science, I gotta get all to understand, because this is where the evolution theory comes from. Because this is why they say that, that they evolved from monkeys. In 1883, when Charles Darwin and his cousin Francis Darwin were both Masons, came up with this bullshit lie. And so what they did with the evolution theory lie was they created that lie in order to give them an excuse for why they have, uh, what you gonna call it? Uh, monkey blood and monkey genes in their DNA because it would be easy for them to say they evolved from a monkey versus to say that they were experimented on and created by extraterrestrials, which is a fact. So with that being said, the evolution theory was used to create a pseudo scientific excuse of why a race of people have monkey genes. Okay, and then it was also used to back up the racist actions and propaganda against black people at that same time, deeming them three fifths of a man. So the, the evolution theory was giving white people a pseudo scientific comfortability of their existence so that they don't have to be seen as genetically created creatures by a higher source of intelligence. And then for two, it was acting as a scientific excuse for the racism that was being expressed on black people, seeing that oh you evolved from a monkey and you're only three fifths of a man. Because according to the evolution theory, all this bullshit happened, Big Bang Theory happened no accident, somehow bacteria turned into beings that came out of the water after millions and thousands of years of evolution, and then those beings turned into goddamn monkeys somehow, and then the monkey turned into an African or a black person who doesn't have any Neanderthal genes, and then downgraded into a white person who had Neanderthal genes. So according to the evolution theory, there's what is called natural selection. So what they're saying is monkeys turned into black people, and then black people went to where it was cold and turned into white people, but white people technically never came from the animal, and white people are basically God's chosen people because they're the newest form of human according to natural selection. So that's what the whole point of the evolution theory, uh, theory is, plus more. Uh, plus more, like I said, if anybody out there, you know, you college, university, you anybody that think you about that life, or you, you're Caucasian and you're watching this and you have some intellectual background, you can debate me and I'll destroy you. So that being said, continuing on with the, move, uh, with the, uh, with the science, boom, they created evolution theory to create a racist, 
uh, righteous cause, a so-called righteous cause behind their racism to justify why they were treating black people like animals. And then for two, they created to hide their true genetic origins, which they still hide. And so let's break this down, right? Reese's monkey blood. When you're irate positive, that means you have it. So that's like if you go get tested for HIV and they say you're negative, you don't have it. If you're positive, you do have it. Same thing with irate positive. Now what you gotta understand is, like I explained in my video, blood types, go watch it. The A and B antigens, right? The antigen is a foreign toxin or substance introduced to the body that that invokes a response from the immune system. So an antigen is not good. It's a toxin. So A and B blood types are antigens. They're toxins. So we have to ask ourselves, how did the antigen get introduced to the body? Because once upon a time, which science will confirm, everybody on the planet was O negative. And Caucasian people, okay, according to uh, molecular biology and science, since 2011, okay, as well as National Motherfucking Geographic, in uh, the ancient research center, the Australian ancient research center for ancient DNA, Professor Daniel Cooper, Caucasians are only 6,500 years old. And so Caucasians were not here in BC times. Anything past 4086 BC. So when you go into history, if you go anywhere past 4086 BC, white people do not exist. Therefore, they cannot be the holders of the O negative positive, I mean the O negative bloodline, because you were not here. Now, funny, because the A and B antigens, which are dog and monkey antigens, which is why, once again, not being racist, non-African people, Neanderthal organisms, smell like wet dog when it rains. The reason that this is, is because of the A and B antigens, being the dog and monkey genes in the blood. And so it's funny because these same A and B antigens were introduced to the planet 6,000 years ago when the Neanderthal was introduced to the planet. And so we're going into the, the science of Irish monkey blood to prove that, you know, I did a whole lecture on this in my website called Genetic Reincarnation, where I broke down step by step how other races were genetically spliced using an equal R1 enzyme, etc., to break down and uh, split their DNA and stick the ends, etc., and electrically shock them and splice them together and create this humanoid. And then I also did a bunch of call it a video where I broke down the science of the hybrid pig because if you can see that they can spice a human with a pig, then they can also spice a human with a monkey. And so that being said, imagine if somebody took the hybrid pig, grew it up, and then told them that they evolved from pigs to make them more comfortable in their existence instead of telling them that we was fucking around in the lab doing shit that we had no business doing. And so if you understand the origins of the hybrid pig, you understand the origins of everybody else on this planet that is not black. This is not about being racist, and this is about genetic fact. Like I said, anybody wanna come through, try to debate me, I'll smash your ass gladly. And with that being said, continuing on, because I gotta keep putting my disclaimer in there that this is not about racism. I'm exercising my freedom of speech to cast my opinion. So please do not report my video. Now with that being said, continuing on. So once Neanderthals were spliced from the Dravidian. Because people keep saying, you can get two black people from, you can get a white person from a black person, you can't get a black person. No, you cannot get a white person from a black person. Black people are human. White people come from albino Dravidians who were genetically spliced with primates, okay? And then they broke down chambers in the DNA. So all of the motherfuckers you see in India, just because they melanated, they're not human, they're Dravidians. They're, they're, they're the original processes of breaking down the human genome code. And then, and then from the Dravidian, you started to get Asians and Chinese people and Koreans, and then once you, once, this is why they, the, 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 the melanin pigment is going lower. So this is why, like, I think 20 to 60% of Asians have functioning bio glands. And then when you broke down, then once the, once the genetic engineering process kept continuing on this planet, and the Asian genetic code was broken down, it became a cock Asian. Cock coming from the word cock, caucus, meaning dead. A Caucasian scientifically is a genetically dead Asian. Okay? So when you go into the phenotypes of science and you see the Negroid, Mongoloid, and the Caucasian, the Mongoloid is nothing, or the Caucasian is nothing more than a genetically diluted, bust down Mongoloid. So the Caucasian and the Asian is basically the same person, just genetically altered. And then they both come from the Dravidian, who's a genetically altered Neanderthal entity. They have nothing to do with African people. So African people, we are extraterrestrials, we are the Anunnaki, whatever the fuck you want to call them. We are them. Whether you aboriginal, whether you claim you're from Aboriginal land as America, or Africa, or South America, wherever you, Australia, wherever you think you're from, as long as you have that mitochondrial E gene, you have extraterrestrial heritage, which science will confirm black people have from 147 to 167 alien genes, we are the original old negative deities. Now continuing on, once this genetic engineering process came, uh, came into play, and these animal genetics were introduced, they started breaking down the protein in the blood. Now, <clears throat> I have an entire book on genetics, genetic engineering, etc. <clears throat> and if you study genetics, Genetic engineering is actually a sub, uh, a, a sub, a uh, black people being agile. We jumping over shit, we playing football. That shit, reptiles do. So you got a group of reptiles trying to fucking live with a group of fucking monkeys, and then you tell them that they're the same, and you wonder why there's so much race shit going on. Because it's supposed to be, because you're lying to people about their genetic origins. And so I'm going to give it to you all, whether you want to believe it or not. Black people are descendants from extraterrestrials. There you fucking go. And all non black people are genetically hybrid organisms created by experiments that took place about 6,000 years ago on this planet. Whether you want to believe that or not, you can go fuck off. So with that being said, family, that is the size behind Irish positive blood, okay? And now that you know, pay attention. And you don't need another motherfucker to confirm that. Next time you have a baby, if the baby come up with John, just ask the nurse what John is. I bet you she don't tell you all the way. I bet you all she gonna, I guarantee you all the nurse gonna say is, oh, John is caused by Bella Rubin, and Bella Rubin is caused by the dysfunction between the mother and the father's blood. That's all she's gonna say. She's not gonna go into depth on you and tell you that John is caused by the interbreeding through rape and pillage of her motherfucking hybrid ass ancestors taking the royal blood, African blood. She's not gonna tell you that. And so with that being said, we have to understand this family. I'm coming with facts. I'm not coming with your opinion. And I don't care how you feel. And with that being said, according to the constitution, we have a freedom of speech. And so I would appreciate y'all getting the fuck off my channel, okay? If you got a problem with the way I express myself using my freedom of speech, I have a right to my opinion. And with that being said, this is science. And if you don't agree that it's science, then you can at least agree that it's my opinion. So respect my opinion. And with that being said, family, do your research. Irish positive blood. If you have Irish positive blood, okay, that means that your bloodline is tainted. Doesn't mean that, you know, if you're black and you got Irish positive blood, does not mean you're not black and not African descent. It just means that you have a blood disease, a cardiovascular disease caused by some Caucasian person either raping your ancestor or your ancestor either willingly going to be with a Caucasian person. 